Hello and welcome to the Hoop Scoop. Please hit that like button on your way in and help us get into the algorithm. We are merely days away from the 2024 NBA draft with the Atlanta Hawks having the first pick. There are lots of great picks this year coming from the International League, College, and the G League. It's projected that Atlanta will take one of the international players, Zachary Rasacha or Alexander Saar, which will mark the second year in a row that an international player is chosen first overall, with Victor Wimbenyana going first to the San Antonio Spurs in the 2023 draft, and, well, they couldn't have made a better pick. With the number two pick, it's projected that Washington will take the other international player not chosen by Atlanta. Hey, everybody, uh, the European game seems to be where it's at right now. Also projected to go in the top 10 are Kentucky's Reed Shepard, UConn's Stephen Castle, who performed like a veteran in March Madness, despite him being a freshman. G-leaguer Matas Buzelis, big man Donovan Klingen from UConn, who also had a stellar performance during March Madness. International players Nicola Topic and Tijan Saloon. Tennessee's Dalton Necht, and Colorado's Cody Williams, who suffered a wrist injury early in the season and did not have a great performance after his return. But maybe he's shown the recruiters something more than he showed us? Maybe? Okay, and the questions that we have are, where will Zach Eady, who showed up and showed out during the season and playoffs land? And is there no longer a spot for a big man that can rebound and block like a beast in the NBA? Also, will Bronny James, who suffered a medical emergency last year and didn't get enough playing time for us to really form an opinion on, be picked up this year? And where, oh where, are our DJs of North Carolina State? Meaning DJ Burns Jr. and DJ Horn. I mean, I don't know that I saw them. I think I read something about maybe DJ Burns not getting uh, picked up at all. And he's lost quite a bit of weight this year in preparation for the NBA draft. So I'm crossing fingers that we see him get taken in this draft because I really enjoy seeing him play. So let us know who your favorite players are, where you'd like to see them land. Also, who you think deserves a higher spot on the draft list. Let's discuss it below, guys. Come on in. Let's talk about it. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on further videos that we drop. And we will see you on the next one. Goodbye. Happy draft week.